right? But you Which always, is kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy. But the doctors are like, you're dead. Mm -hmm. And what if he just decides I'm dead and he starts freaking out? Or maybe he goes to Oregon and gets assisted suicide. And so many people go down that path, yeah. right? Like, But you're but right. They're, they're whacking people left and right up in Canada. Yeah. Like, if you're depressed, yeah, like you're not feeling good. Come on in. Sign up. Fucking yeah. sign up for the program. We'll get Where rid else of you. That? That's, They'll just that, kill you. In Europe, they in uh, in the Netherlands, don't they do that? Somewhere uh, I don't else? know. I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. it's other countries, but it's a recent thing in Canada where they're just whacking people. I didn't know they were doing that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. See, Google it. Google it. Because uh, this is something you'll actually find on Google. <laughs> it's like it's assisted suicide in Canada. The other delusion that I, because I, I just watched the Scott Peterson uh, is that the Lacey Peterson? Yes. So is that one, w w is the new one where people are saying maybe he didn't kill her? No, it's it's essentially, it's it's fantastic. It's on Netflix. I think it's a three-part docuseries. And it begins with, cause, you know, it's like this reminder. Cause it was 20 years ago. Right. You, you know, time just, you're like, oh shit. What was that story? How did that one So go? that well, one. Canada's controversial medically assisted death program is fastest growing in the world. Damn. <gasps> Since suicide became legal in Canada, the number of deaths has grown each year. So this is August, so this is just uh, last month. So what is it saying in terms of the numbers? The re most recent data shows 13,241 people in, in 2022. Wow. Well, that's quite a jump. That's a jump, bro. So 2022 is 13,000. Who knows what 2023 and 2024 is? Oh, man. So they're whacking people up there. That's pretty you wild. Feeling good? Get it? Come on in. Come in. Come on in. Will you get foot hurt? <laughs> <laughs> My leg hurts. I and just said, uh, get in here. Get Fuck in here. life. Yeah. Fuck life. That's a great tap out fucking uh, option. <laughs> it, it's great. I mean, what is this? Is this like, uh, I mean, is it a kind of eugenics? Like, what is it? Like, uh, what, what, what is it? I mean, you could say it's being compassionate. And in some cases, like Michael Lair, you know, he went to Oregon. Yes. But Michael Lair was, his body was failing so horribly he what? couldn't talk anymore that was als yes it wasn't that the same thing that was ravaged that what was the famous woman that it was a huge international case here do you remember um uh, terry shivo was right. it terry shivo i don't know if she had the same thing and she, but she had this horrible debilitating yeah disease and you're was, still alive and yeah. at the end he his like it kept getting worse and mm -hmm. worse it wasn't getting better so he went to oregon to do it and he actually went to oregon once and then changed his mind and came back and when you sign up for that in canada can you just go you're like that's just what i want doesn't matter i don't know i don't know what the rules are but i know that some people are very upset about it because you're taking people that maybe you could talk them off the ledge yeah maybe they could have got better maybe with some love and some friendship and some counseling and some therapy that and, they wouldn't take that option yeah maybe they'd be happy yeah I've I've met I've known quite a few people that have taken their own life. Yeah, I know a few that have done it too, um, and it's always super sad. I mean, because I, I don't know anybody that's done it, with the exception of Michael. Um, I don't know anybody that's that's done it um, in in the case of uh, you know like a, a medically assisted. No. no, Michael's the only one that I know about yeah. that. But you know, there's Brody. Yeah, Brody was a hard one. There's my friend Tony, who's a, a pool player up in San Francisco. He jumped off the bridge. Yeah. Which is a uh, crazy. There's a spot where everybody goes. Yeah, one of my um, college when I had, I had jobs. Uh, I worked when I had when I was in college. I worked the whole time. I had jo you know part time jobs, and one of my coworkers did. It was fucking terrible, man. <sighs> like our boss went to his apartment, and found him there. <sighs> it was terrible. <sighs> yeah. You know, for some people, they don't think it's ever going to get better. I know. And you know. And if you don't have support around you, you don't have someone that you can that can pick you up. And it's crazy how someone can pick you up. It's crazy how you could be just feeling like total complete shit, and someone who cares about you can come over your house, take you out, have some laughs. Yeah. And you're like, I think I feel better. Yeah. Because yeah. we feel better around people. Yeah. Some, some people are super isolated too. That's that's the dangerous one. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things I realized as I got older is you don't realize how many people are lonely in this world. Right. Like you get older, I'm saying, because you, you encounter more people mm -hmm. and you, you talk to people who, like you realize you have this like full life that you, you know, you could take for granted. Like you have a family, mm -hmm. you have friends, you have mm -hmm. all these things going on. And then you, you meet people who, they don't have any of that. And they're yeah. alone. 
And there's that's, a lot of those. There's out a there lot right of people now. that are very lonely. Well, there's also this internet culture too, right? So there's people that don't have actual physical contact with anyone. Yeah. So all their interaction is with people online. And so that's a dark place too. They're streaming all day and yeah. chatting all day on Instagram and jerking off, and it's madness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not a that's not a path to um, fulfillment. Is isolated online. No. And also, you you don't. Sometimes I don't have it to that degree, but you're you're online for a while on something, and then you go into the real world, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm like, I was just living in this make believe place for right. a while. You don't realize it's not real. Right. Right. You live in this make believe place, and you're not having any of the normal human contact that we thrive on. Right. All your contact is like this weird, like displaced not connected it's all weird mm -hmm. which yeah. is like if you go to someone's twitter profile and you see that they're online 12 hours a day just fucking barking at people <laughs> like a dog and it's giving them like, some charge like, wah, 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 wah. yeah it's like an annoying dog next door just, and they're just baiting Bro. people all day 